A cautious reopening for this hair salon and spa in the US state of Georgia. All customers must now book their appointment in advance and have their temperature checked at the door. Everyone must wear a mask. When I booked the appointment, they went through all their procedures that they're, we were going to be taking, and so I felt at ease. Measures that leave clients feeling reassured, but the decision to reopen wasn't an easy one for the salon's manager. Nervous, anxiety, all that too, but, you know, uh, we all want to come back to work. Beauty salons, gyms, even bowling alleys got the green light to reopen on Friday. It will be restaurants and cinemas turn on Monday. For this restaurant owner, it's a dangerous move, with the number of COVID-19 infections still rising. We value our staff, we value our clientele, and we value the citizens of Georgia. This is an irresponsible move that is based solely on dollars over science. Georgia has ranked in the bottom nationally in per capita coronavirus testing, a key component in preventing a resurgence of infections. After initially supporting Georgia State Governor Brian Kemp's plan to restart the economy, Donald Trump has rode back on the Republican governor's timeline. It's just too soon. I think it's too soon. I told the governor very simply that I disagree with his decision, but he has to do what he thinks is right. Several other U.S. states, including Texas and Vermont, have also begun to reopen. The CBS News poll on Thursday said 63 percent of Americans were more concerned about the consequences of lifting the restrictions too soon than about the effect on the economy of maintaining them.